Hey guys, in this video I will be quickly talking about the third way to insert CSS into our HTML and it's called an external style sheet. Now unlike the first two, inline styles and internal style sheet, where you write CSS directly into either the tag itself, like over here, or within the style tag inside the head tags, like here. Uh, the third one, which is external style sheet, as you might have guessed from its name external, the CSS is going to be outside the HTML document. Okay, so we have our test.html here. Uh, these are from the HTML tutorial, so for now you can ignore that. We have our test.html here, and what we are going to do is create a new document and file, save as, and I am going to save it as a, what should I call it, uh, style.css. Now this name could be anything, it could be main.css, it could be style.css, it could be hello.css, just like our HTML documents, but again, just like our HTML documents, the extension is important and we need to specify it and it is .css and let's save our work. So now we have this style.css document over here. Now in our HTML document we had these styles and now we don't need these anymore so because we, we can put these into our style.css. So I'm going to delete this and in our style.css write in just like we wrote within our style decoration, uh, style tag I mean, sorry, within the head tags in the HTML document, in my style.css I'm going to write h1 uh, color green and wrap it and p, whoops, color blue, I think it was blue, there we go, whoops, done. Done. So we have we deleted test uh, the style tag here, and we added the styles over here. Now, if I go to test.html, the uh, CSS styles are inserted into style.css for h1, and the p isn't being reflected. Oh, this is red because in our HTML document we ha still have the inline style color red for this p tag. Now, the reason to why the reason to why the reason the reason why the h1 and this p uh, decoration isn't being reflected onto our test.html website is because we haven't linked our HTML document to our CSS document. So we have a CSS here and we have our test.html here. But we need to tell our HTML that we want to bring our CSS from style.css to here. So just like in HTML when we wrote a link to an external website or uh, a source to our image in our image tag, we are going to write a link to our CSS. So within the head tag we give we write link and rel equals style uh, style sheet. This is telling uh, this is defining or telling that uh, what we are linking is a style sheet, nothing else. Because there are a couple of uh, links we can put instead of style sheet, but I'll talk about that later because that's JavaScript and jQuery and stuff. And the type is going to oops type is going to be text slash CSS. These you just have to remember because that's how you uh, insert external CSS into your HTML document, but it's pretty straightforward. It's a style sheet and the type is a text slash CSS. And just like our a tag for our uh, website links, href, 
is going to be where your uh, style sheet is. Now, the style sheet I have, if I could go to my desktop, or close, and yep, is in the same place as my HTML. So it's in the same location directly. So all I need to write is style.css and close it like so. If, however, just like our image image location, if my CSS was, for example, in the CS dot CS, uh, in a CSS folder, we need to say that it's in CSS slash style.css and so on. Now let's double click, save our work, I save this, I save this, and go to test.html. There we go. Because we specified and linked our style.css, now the CSS which we wrote over here is being reflected onto our HTML document. So that's it. That's all three ways in which we can insert CSS into our HTML. Now, in my tutorials, I will be mainly using the internal style sheet because the CSS and the HTML is going to be within one window. And unlike this one, I don't need to keep on going back and forth to show you the HTML and the CSS. However, if we have, if we're creating a website, and for like a well, uh, normal size website or more, and we are uh, using CSS because the num our HTML is going to be relatively large. There'll be more lines just with HTML, and if we have a CSS style tag within our head tag, the HTML is going to be larger. This is therefore in real life what we mainly use is the link to our style sheet and use external style sheets so that we could put all the CSS into one place. Now there's two merits for doing this method. One is so that the HTML document isn't too, doesn't get too big and bloated. Number two is so that we can easily customize and change our CSS later on or in the process of making a website because it's going to be in within the same well, one document. So for example, if I had h1 inline tag here, like style equals blah, 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 and another style equals equals blah, blah, blah. And then we had hundreds of those. And along the way, we wanted to say, we decided that green isn't the right color for our heading. Now, if we had, if we just used inline, we had to locate our h1 tag and then change our style. However, if we had style.css, all we need to do was go to style.css and then just find h1, which is way easier. Now, because both our style sheet and the HTML document is so small in my uh, example, you can't really see how easy easier it is to use an external style, style sheet. But trust me, once you actually start creating a website using HTML, CSS, and maybe more other language such as JavaScript, PHP, and stuff, external style sheet is so much better. Okay, that's it. Uh, in my next video, I will actually start talking about, uh, before that, in my next video, I'm going to quickly talk about comments and style priority. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.